In this InVivo 15 Mac tutorial, I want to talk about coding through the drag and drop method and some potential issues that could arise for someone in our group. So when you want to code a file, the first thing you've got to do is make sure you can see the file. And so you go to your files, uh, I'm looking at surveys for example, and then you can double click to open a survey. So for instance, here's the Brenda survey, I'm going to open that up. Um, You can see that in this particular one, I've got coding stripes on. So I've got all the coding stripes in automatic colors. So I can see that, the, that this has been coded to a case called Brenda, but it hasn't been coded otherwise. So we might start with the first question. Um, it says, how do you read the books in your child's family backpack? Or how often do you read the books? Once, twice, more than three times. And she said, this family says more than three times. So the easiest way to code is to drag and drop. So I can go to my codes where I can see them all. Here's the times red code. Here's the one that says more than three times. So what I would like to be able to do is to highlight and then grab this and dra drag it right onto more than three times. I'm using my mouse at the moment but and you see what happens. It doesn't stay highlighted. This is ev evidently a known problem, and it seems like it may be a connection between certain kinds of uh, m mouses, and mice, and computers. Um, not really sure what causes the problem. I d but however, when I highlight and with my trackpad on my Mac laptop, I can drag and drop exactly the way it's supposed to happen, and I, you'll see what happens see the little green thing that tells you that it's been coded successfully to more than three times. This is a major problem um, if this starts happening to you, especially on the lab computers, because you don't have any choice but to use a mouse. And I, I can't predict whether or not it will happen with that arrangement of hardware in the, in the lab. There is a way that I've discovered in a previous project to solve this problem. This is a Word file, but here is a PDF file of another survey. Um, we found in a previous project that if we saved all of our Word files as PDFs, so we, it, the drag and drop worked perfectly, we never had a problem. So for example, in this file, it, which is a PDF, you can see by the little symbol, and of course I've labeled it as PDF, I'm now using my mouse, I'm highlighting, and I can, I'm highlighting, should be able to just easily, yep, move it right over there, no problem. And if we want to check to see if, in fact, the Capone and the, and the uh, Brenda files are, are coded there, we can double click. We can browse the node. And there's the Brenda file. And there's the Capone file. So um, it absolutely is working. So this could change over time as they update software. But in order to be able to drag and drop, which I do think is the easiest way to code in in vivo, I would recommend uh, saving your files as PDFs because I don't think you'll have any problem if you do that. The downside of that is that you can't alter the files once they're in the PDF files once they're in in vivo. But I find that that's a pretty rare occurrence that I'm actually wanting to alter the file anyway. So the PDF solution has been one that has worked quite well. There are other ways to code and solve the problem, and I'll sh I'll talk about those in the next tutorial video.